My research is on getting robots to interact intelligently with the physical world. Robots need to be able to understand how to uh, impart force on the world and interact with objects in the world in an intelligent way. We know there's a way to do it because humans can do it, but uh, robots are currently unable to do it because of the limitations of current algorithms. So there's a lot of areas that we can use these kinds of robot capabilities. So for instance, a robot that would help take care of people who were elderly or disabled uh, would need to be able to do common tasks for them, like cook a simple meal or tidy up the kitchen or the living room. Even something as simple as picking up a remote from the floor uh, can be difficult for these people. So robots uh, that can manipulate objects in the world intelligently to do those kinds of tasks. I, I've worked with these kinds of robots for many years, uh, but I think what makes this robot unique is the amazing precision uh, that it can deliver. So uh, it can move to a very precise location very repeatably. The robot has seven degrees of freedom, so it's very dexterous. That means uh, it's able to uh, get its arms into many different configurations, not just lock in a single configuration like that. So uh, the research we're doing is really pretty varied. So one project we have focuses on manipulating deformable objects like cloth or string or even uh, tissue. And uh, that work basically looks at how we can interact with these objects and do useful tasks with them even though we don't know the precise model of the object. Another project we're doing is on humanoid uh, locomotion and use of hands. So uh, think about grabbing railings or bracing hands on the wall as you move in an environment. Uh, another project we have looks at manipulating objects that have to be in contact with each other. So when you do a lot of assembly tasks like putting the batteries into your remote, you're actually sliding that battery into uh, its slot. So that actually turns out to be very hard to do with robots because, again, they need to have good models usually of uh, how things slide around and so on. So having a state-of-the-art robot is really essential for pursuing the frontiers of manipulation research. Right now I'm teaching a, a course on robot motion planning, which is part of uh, what's connected to the research here. And in that course, students learn about how robots can navigate through complicated environments, how they can manipulate, uh, picking things up and putting them in different places, and the challenges and trade-offs that are necessary to create algorithms that are effective for these problems. At the undergraduate level, what I hope students get out of my classes is a, a really good foundational understanding of what's important in robotics. So I'd like students to be able to learn some of the key algorithms and some of the key methods that roboticists use and have that serve as a foundation for them uh, to go on and take classes in the future at, at the graduate level. At the PhD level, I, I hope that students uh, who take my class or work with me really uh, develop important skills that are crucial for success in research. You're able to frame problems and you're able to come up with potential solutions to problems on your own. For me, it's always been this motivation of participating in kind of the development of human knowledge, right? Uh, that, you know, we're doing this work in robotics and in engineering and you know, we're, we're helping advance that frontier. And then the people that come after us can build on what we do, and the people that come after them build on what they do. And that's basically how we progress um, in the state of human knowledge. So to be a part of that is, is really exciting. Then the other aspect is really the students, right? To, to help students grow and develop and um, become researchers uh, that are independent is just incredibly fulfilling. So that's why I do it. Thank you.